Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I'm uh, gonna go ahead and give you kind of like my first impressions of Beastery League. Um, or sorry, Beastiary. And uh, I'm also gonna show you guys the character progression. It is a Death's Oath character, as I stated, that I was gonna play again. And I've got plans to make like a totem character and a couple others, but right now we're focusing on this guy. I wanted to see how it would work going CI, like really early into the league. So the league's been out for about two days, two hours. I don't think I've really played that much, uh, about fifth, not, not even that much actually, a lot of it's AFK. So I've been taking it a bit slow, but I've got my character set up already as CI, uh, and I'm pretty excited with it. So of course, before I go into it, I'm just gonna show you Blood Aqueduct, uh, just do a quick run through, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I guess talk about the league. So, while you're leveling throughout, um, while you're leveling, I guess you'll start to encounter these monsters, uh, which are essentially beasts, and the beast monsters can be tamed. Now you'll get all these nets that you'll kind of see, like right here. Here's a net, for example, uh, and its defaulted hotkey is V. And the way you catch mon uh, monsters or minions, etc., is by basically just taking your net and throwing it at them and yeah, that's pretty much how it works. A lot of people didn't really like it at first. There was a lot of issues with it, like targeting issues, because I know if people haven't really played traps, then uh, this, is, this mechanic probably feels really bad. Uh, there are also some other issues with like calling strike. Basically, you call the target before you can catch it. And there's just kind of a lot of things that kind of needed to be worked on that uh, GG is working on, so I'm pretty happy for that. So after this uh, quick Blood Aqueduct run, I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and show you guys the menagerie and kind of like where all of your stored beasts go and then i'll kind of show you guys a little bit of it hopefully i can get a unique not unique but uh like a special beast guy over here i don't think i i don't know so far nothing nope beastie where are you okay there's none in that one not not every zone has implicit beast monsters so you have like the regular ones that you can catch uh, and then you have the other ones that spawn with like extra affixes. So to go into this place here, the Menagerie, I don't know exactly 100% about how this works, but I'll explain what I do know. You have your Blood Altar over here, and in your Blood Altar, um, whenever you capture a beast, it'll go onto like, you know, this list right here, right? And everything that's on this list right now is a recipe. So I can show like hide unusable and etc. There's probably a lot more things for me to craft, but I mean, there's some really cool mods in here. Um, so for example, I crafted my Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline in here, which is great for leveling because you slam an Adrenaline Flask already. I mean, I, this is item level 7, so I got this right at the beginning of the game. Uh, and there's like a, real, a bunch of cool stuff. Like I've got Create a Unique here. I've got Item, Jewel, Scepter, Shield, Axe, Dagger, Quiver, Mace, you know, and it just keeps on going down. Now you can tell the item level of what you're crafting right away. You can see it right here, and it's based on um, the beast that you've captured. So, of course, if you capture, like, all higher level beasts, it's going to be a higher item level item. Um, so that way, the beasts you catch at low level, you use for the, um, like, for leveling purposes, and the ones you catch at high level, you're going to use for vice versa. Um, this place, actually, right here, can be a bit scary, uh, especially if you fight, like, two red beasts and you're not really super geared or they're, like, the same level as you. I definitely can see a lot of people ripping in these locations. So, now on for the more, like, roleplay section, because it's a lot of fun. Um, each type of guy that you capture has his own little home. So you can see here, here's all the crustaceans that I've caught. Uh, you can see whatever this thing is. You've got all these crabs over here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared that, like, that, like, it's gonna open up one day and they're just gonna, like, kill me. So while I guess, while I'm here, let me show you the difference. So this is a red target mob. Uh, the reason why I say it's red is because it has two, uh, affixes on it. Whereas this is a regular one, which would be a yellow one. Now, I'm pretty sure every single red guy that has that on them spawns additional monsters, and these guys are literally as tanky, if not more tanky, than map bosses. I don't know if they've done a nerf to them already. I don't think they should. I, I really like them the way they are. I know a lot of people always complain about risk versus reward, but sometimes it's okay to have fun. Um, so let's go on and just keep moving in here. I actually just found a bug with my OB. Oh, never mind. That's because I'm on the wrong scene. Just kidding. Uh, you can capture unique guys as well. You can see this is like the daughter of Mervale. Uh, you can capture white mobs. You can capture blue mobs. There's all sorts of different guys. And as I explained before, um, we've got like the wilds, the sands, the caverns, the deep, and then these are just the captured ones. So this is this is the depths, and you can go from kind of like here's the sands. You can go from one to the other, and it's kind of just cool. It's like another like expanded little little mini hideout for you to play around with. So I'm definitely gonna find myself. 
Oh, look, it's the unique guy, the 100-foot shadow. I was like, what? Did something actually come out of the cage? Um, so, so far, I'm pretty happy with the leak. Even though, like I said, I haven't really done much beast crafting for myself. You guys know me. I kind of just want to get my character started, get myself established in the league, and then I'll start going actually trying to craft. But, but I'm still going to try to pretty much capture everything. So, um, let me go ahead and, like... Can I, can I leave? How do I leave? I don't know if I not... Oh, is this it? Okay, cool. Let me go this way. Go, go, go! Alright. I'm gonna show you guys kind of how it works to capture a mob. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the climb. And... So do you see this guy on the map? This, this guy on the map right here would be a yellow target with one affix on it. So... That's the goat. And now if you look, do you see how there's like a little net icon on the goats? The net icon means I've already caught that target. If I don't have this type of target caught, it'll say new on it, which is really cool because it shows you what you need. And the reason why that's really cool is because whenever you capture a new mob, it essentially will unlock a recipe or complete the ability to make the recipe. So I don't know how much they've changed. I'm gonna throw this out full life at this guy. Oh, there you go. And I caught him and he's done. Um, so that's really nice. They have been working on this trap mechanic for a while. Um, so that's something I was really happy to see. I haven't played with the new... I think they just made some, some new tweaks to it. Uh, and I haven't actually played with these new tweaks yet. So, Navali's here. There's actually a goat over here, but I think I might kill the goat too fast. Mr. Goat! Mr. Goat! Got him! Nice. But yeah, so overall, I'm actually quite happy with the league. I want to see where it takes me. It's kind of like a wave to craft for players who don't just like alt spamming and stuff. So I feel like it's an easier form of crafting as well because it's like a more complete item. Um, but yeah, so to talk about the character a little bit, we are playing Death's Oath again. Uh, I just got the character up and running. I spent the remainder of my currency upgrading my gear. So if you guys have been following the streams, I'll tell you what I upgraded. I bought a Darkness and Throne for 2C and I bought this jewel for 4C. I bought an identical jewel for it for 4C as well. Uh, these both need to be regaled to see, you know, what we can roll as an affix. Uh, I did buy a new helmet for about, I think, 1C it was, because I don't think the guy knew there was, like, you could craft the tri-res. But either way, it's not that good. Um, but it's just a tri-res helmet. I upgraded to this ring that you can see here. Both of these rings, I believe, have a prefix open. Let's see, strength, cold, lightning. Yep, they both have prefixes open, which means that I can Leo craft for faster start of energy shield recharge. Um, which is essentially Essence Surge. It's, it's better than Essence Surge, actually, because you can have two of them. Um, so that's something I really need to do, and that goes great in conjunction with Wicked Ward that you'll see right here because it'll start your recharge. Uh, we haven't done any trials or anything. I haven't even gotten into maps. I've just been farming Blood Aqueduct. So once we can get Malediction going, we'll get an entire Enfeeble, and of course the increased effect of Curses will be very nice for damage. Um, so I'm excited for that. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. I kind of just started. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. You guys let me know how you feel of Path of Pokemon right now because I'm honestly enjoying it. I know a lot of people have some conflicting opinions, but I'm just happy to see where the league's going right now. So hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.